All right, everybody. So, welcome back to the chicken area. We uh, we're gonna be back working on this. As you remember in the previous videos, we built this little frame right here for the door, and the video before that, we put the post in the ground. So today, as you can see, we got two by sixes laid out on the ground. We're gonna run those level across this back, cut the post off on the front. We're gonna go up eight feet and mount one and run them level across the front right here and that will uh then we'll come in on the sides from up there to back here on this first section right here all we're really worried about is getting this first section done our chickens are getting big fast and we need more area like quickly and this is not what you would call a cheap project it's uh it's going to cost a lot, but it's going to be here for a long time. So we, uh, we're just doing what we can when we have it. And we're going to, uh, we're going to get to putting these boards on here. What we're going to do down here on this end, this very end down here, we're going to mount this board at the top right here. If I can get the camera to work with me, we're going to mount the board at the top right here. And we're gonna leave it overhanging about a foot and a half. That way there's a little eave on this side. That way maybe the rain won't hit up against that too much. Really, this two by six is gonna split that post right down here. And pretty much however far it sticks off, that's how big of an eave we're gonna have. Um, so that's what we're about to do. We're about to get this first board put in here. And uh, I'm gonna set y'all up over here and let y'all watch. Let's see. I gotta adjust that a little bit. That way we can see what's going on. Alright. I'm starting to question this uh this one's structural integrity. Got cracks running all the way down it. No, it's alright. Drills actually got the level. Yes sir. Alright. Hopefully this don't die in the middle of you. Anybody know where my other batteries are? In the shop. I think both of them are charging. I know one of them are. I know one of them are. Okay, so I'm gonna need, we don't need the level just yet. Zach, I'm gonna need you holding that up where it split this board. You know what I mean? Where this is like halfway between here. Just up here somewhere. Just so I can get that end screwed on. Then I need you down here. I'm just going to run one screw in it. Zach, Zach, come down with it. Oh. Alright, then I need to go all the way up to the very tippy top of it. Let me know when you're there. really short on this end when we build the next three sections on that end because it still goes uphill yeah. I'm gonna bump that up on that end in other words like how we started this one at the top I'll do the same thing right there I'll start that one to go that way at the top of that so it'll look just like the front and it'll kind yeah of it'll, right it'll, it'll just that one section will so that would need a different board so it doesn't stick off No, I'll, I'll, we'll cut it off. We'll get it mounted up there. That's what I want to do now. And then get the chain something. Okay. So I'm going to use that skill saw. Use 
I don't know. I might use a chainsaw. We'll see. Turn that camera around when they see me, didn't we? No. Not right. Well, all you should have to do is butt this one up even on the top. Alright. Oh, you didn't flip it that way. <laughs> Let me get a screwdriver again. This one I can actually just cut off right here even with that end. Alright. Over the egg boxes are going to be sticking out like this. They're going to be a foot and a half deep. So they'll be sticking out. Which, as you can see by this little board right here, it's got a little hump in it right there. This wood ain't perfect, but we ain't building a house. We are building a chicken area, so I'm not really stressing that a whole lot. So we're going to get to the front and figure out how we're going to do this on this front somehow. <laughs> anyway, because it's really tall. And I only got one ladder. So I, I think the ranger may come into play. We may back it up right here by this edge and then get the ladder right here by this one and uh, go from there. So, all right. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, move that chainsaw. And uh, there again, back of the ranger's full of crap because we work out of this sucker every day. Let's go take the, let's take them long tools out. That way you can back it in. Well, just back it straight up. You should be able to stand right there and hold it. Yeah. Oh, 
All right, so what I want, let's try going outside, Johnny. Like we did on the back. Yeah, that makes more sense. No, you know, I'm not a fit to make a person. No. So, whoever's on that end, go up on the ladder and you hold it up. I'm going to get up here. How do you give me a tool belt? Well, I, I have a hook for it. But, you know, I don't know. It's not on to my attention that I don't like heights. <laughs> you dude, you're, you're three feet off the ground. Six feet off the ground, but I'm still, you know, I don't like yellow. You're not six feet off the ground. Your feet's three and a half feet off the ground. All right, there's eight foot. You got to split that board? Yes, sir. Then, I really need you to hold that up. Just so I can get the screw started in there. Some of these screws are four inches. And I am not left over. <laughs> I'm going to try it anyway. Got it. I got it. You good? Yes, sir. Still split that board? Yes, sir. I don't know how this is going to work. Where's that tie? There you go. See, you just thought you were college better. Dude, you're wearing actual tennis shoes. I'm in Crocs. No. Dude, these things got, these things got soles this thin. Are you starting to go up a little? I know. Okay. I got to get up there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let me get up here and get the cutting logs in. Need to go up. Up some more. Up some more. more. Right, up a good bit. A lot more. 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 Wait, no, no, no. All right, we're telling you wrong. Go down. No, it's level. It's about level now. No. Yeah. Die. All right. Yeah. Can do that. I, I wasn't so confident in my ability to put it up there. I mean, 
dad, really? We could still use the other level. It just looks a little weird. <laughs> well, like always, something always goes wrong. I don't know if you've heard. I know the camera's been facing a different way. But, we're having problems with the Ranger. Now, this is an old Ranger that I got from my brother-in-law four years ago or so. And it was old then. It's an 05 or 04 or something like that. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we have a little issue with it staying running. Think spark plug might be dirty. Um, we're going to pull it and clean it and see what's up. So, we'll be back with you in a minute all right guys well we cleaned the spark plug got the ranger back up and going it uh it's about due for some maintenance anyway it needs uh, uh it needs a lot of attention but we're gonna get back to putting these beams on there these beams lower these two by sixes on there and uh we'll be back with you in a little bit you already seen how we're doing it so we're gonna go ahead and get this other front one up and then we'll get back with you when we go to put the sides on. So, see you in a minute. All right guys, so, and gals, sorry, don't be offended. Um, we got the last board put up on the top and we also pulled us a string line from the front board to the back board and put us a pencil line where the bottom of this rafter is gonna go across there. So that's what we're about to do now is uh, get the rafters on there on this post and that post. Right now we're, like I said earlier, focusing on just getting this one big area right here ready for them. That way we can put them in there. Um, so I'm gonna set y'all up right over here and let y'all watch us work. Let's see, let's adjust that up a little bit. So, what we're going to do, oh, I need to walk around. We're going to get the board set up on top of there, and then split the middle of this and get it screwed in. And it can just set up there, and then we'll get the other one. We'll just let it overhang. I'll figure out how much. Yeah, these do. We'll figure out how much I'm going to let it overhang because I want to. I want to eave on the front to kind of keep the rain from beating around on the front right there. I just don't want to eave on the back to keep the egg box dry. Right. Look at it again. 
But I don't want a four foot E sticking out over there either. Yeah. Because bigger the E, the more tin we got. Oh my God, that thing is long. I sure it won't span the whole thing? It Why may. It? <laughs> no, it'll come up a foot and a half, so it's probably. That's the way I look at Just right to be wrong. Oh, well, yeah, that ain't going to work. Alright, so let's send it to that. I'll get up there in a little bit. How far do you want it sticking out? We're going to run it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't have it sticking out. Right no, I know. Just, we're going to let every bit of it stick out that way. Oh, God. Four foot each. That's a lot. I'm going to cut it off, right? <laughs> Oh, I ain't even got the drill. What did I do with the drill? Um, probably in the range. Probably in the range. Ow. I may have put that hook on there. So I can just hook it on my tool belt. I'll break some brand new level. I didn't break the last one. Yeah, no, someone else broke it. I just finished it. Son of uh, Ryan Scales, one of the people, the best person I know with a tape measure. <laughs> six foot. <laughs> See, I was gonna say six foot, I'm like, yeah, it's a little shorter than that. Well, let me get right there. You're probably gonna have to back that Ranger up over here uh, to hold the end of that board. I'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and cut that off. Bring y'all back to the action. Thank 
be back up a little bit further. Can you take that chainsaw and stuff and set it over to the side? Take that old steel saw back up to the shop. That way I can actually like step in here. That way, once we get all of them run out, you know, we're going to run one dead across the front. Huh? Yeah. Well, we have to move now. It's just that time of the year, sir. Phase of the moon. That just means it's getting hot. I mean, that just means it's really hot now. Okay. So let's get the other one up across the back. Did we only need two, or did we, uh, we're going to need two more? We're going to have two for that Oh, we got two. I forgot we had two. Well, we're also going to need... Well, we're going to need some more. Yeah. One of the last. Because once we get these put in in the middle, I'm going to measure it and I'm going to cut a piece just to sandwich in between these two. Now what we're going to do is bust that one up against this one that I'll measure out. I'll probably go two feet on the back also because the laying box is going to be 18 inches wide so that'll completely cover that laying box. As with the laying box we're going to have a slanted rig too. So. Yeah. We got to who now? We got to do that next section. Just like this. Just like that? Just like this. And then, what we're going to start working on is framing in the bottom. So where the, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run a 2 by 6 all the way across this bottom. All the way across there. Same thing, we're going to level it up back there. All right, guys. So as you seen on that one, it uh, that's how we got that side piece put on there. We're gonna do the same thing on that next one, but this uh, video is getting exceptionally long, so we uh, we about to cut it loose on this one right here. Um, I'm gonna come back in a little bit after we get it done. I'm not gonna film everything, but uh, we're gonna uh, I I'll get back with you in a little bit after we get these boards on there. Alright guys, well, as you can see over here behind me, in front of me now, we got the other side done, run out, all I got left to do 
is measure and cut that tail off like we did this one right here. We come out two feet from the top with a uh, eave, I guess you'd call it, yeah. So what we're gonna do is when, when we get all of them in, we'll come across this face right here and go across and run one all the way across and make it a fascia board. That's what it's called. Make a fascia across this right here. And then the tin will actually run out probably, oh, I'd say an inch or so, maybe two inches past this, where we'll have an inch and nine sixteenths thick board right here. So the tin will come out past that about two inches. That way all the water will come off and it won't actually run on the fascia any. I'm not uh I'm not putting a drip edge or nothing like that on there. It's it's a chicken building. It's not gonna need all that, but these poles are pretty wobbly. You see that in wobbling right there. But that's wobbling a whole lot less now that we got that framed in. But we're gonna come in across here from here to there with a board across where the front of the house is gonna be, and that's gonna shear it up from, from spot to spot, and then we'll probably put two more up here in the front. And then we'll also have one by fours on the top up here going across for us to be able to screw our screw our tin down to. So what we're fitting to get started on now is we're gonna frame up this bottom where the house is gonna be. Well it'll be framed actually from that post to that post, but um we're gonna come in at five feet, which is about half of this distance, and come across right here and we'll deck this whole area and that'll be um a laying area for a house area and on the back we'll frame in a little hole and uh well a big a long hole probably all, mostly all the way across the back we'll frame in a hole across there and uh put boxes in there that'll be laying boxes for them um so yeah we uh we'll, we'll be back with you here directly Xander's getting some two by sixes brought up here because they're down at the barn so he's bringing some two by sixes up here to be able to frame in this bottom part. So we'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, guys. So as you can see, we started working on the bottom. We got a bottom plate in where we can put chicken wire up on this side. And we got we started building a box for the uh, like coop area in the back, the uh, house area. So we're gonna go across there with another one and come out five feet and come across this way with another one. And then we should be starting to put siding on there, which I think uh, I may just kinda do this as one video. This will be a framing video. I'm not gonna stop recording uh, today, um, but this will be essentially just a framing video for it. And we will, uh, do the siding and the chicken wire all in the same same video so we'll uh we'll call it quits on this one we uh i'm uh i'm gonna film a little bit more here in a little bit after we get the frame finished and then i'll uh i'll close it up with y'all all right guys well and gals sorry um as you can see we got the bottom floor framed in for the bottom of the chicken house part we got to put some uprights right here for the corners for the front corners and then hang on and then uh we're gonna uh we'll be ready to start siding it well we may uh we may go ahead and put the decking down on the bottom first but i think uh this little framing video right here will be enough we uh like I said, we just concentrated on this one section. So we got this one section ready, just about it for chicken wire, decking, siding. So that's that's gonna be what we repeat every section on is just be the same thing over and over and over and over again. But uh, we hope y'all have enjoyed these videos, whether you're watching them on YouTube or you're watching them on Facebook or you're watching them on either one. But if you, are new to the channel go ahead and uh subscribe hit that thumbs up button um you know like these videos hit that notification bell if you're on facebook uh hit that follow button hit the like button 
for the videos and uh share it out there with your friends and your family and all your contacts and whatnot so we appreciate everybody watching the videos we appreciate the support so far and we will see y'all on the next one